everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Void Scrappers. It's another bullet heaven, this time, uh, slight difference. I actually, uh, advised the developer, I guess, two weeks ago before it came out? Uh, they sent me a message and were like, hey, can you give me some feedback before this releases? And I was like, sure, why not? Played it. It's pretty solid. It's very fast. Uh, which throws me off a little bit. But, uh, fairly bog standard, you know, stat upgrades across the board. There's no, like, sets or anything like that. So it's just like, do you want projectile range, range explosion size, or dash cooldown? Let's go for explosion size. I'm going to see if I can make big boom. Um... So the thing is, you're surviving for, I think it's 20 waves, something like that. Uh, th or, 20 waves or threat 20. Uh, so if you've played like Risk of Rain, it has that same kind of thing. Let's go for increase chance of shield drops. I'm trying very hard not to run into things. The, uh, the enemies come at you fast and they don't give you a whole lot of room to maneuver. So you gotta, you gotta be on your toes a little bit more than I'm used to. Projectile speed, enemies burst into uh, bolts on death, projectile and damage. Ooh, yes. That was one of the original issues that, that previously enemies wouldn't do that. It was like a small chance and it wasn't that good. Uh, auto repeater, wild artillery. Lower cool low cooldown, randomly dispersed explosive. It's firing over there for some reason, which is a little question mark. Okay, spawn explosions on dash, dash size and damage. Yeah, I want to work on this. There is a dash. I haven't been using it. But I want to just max out explosion size and damage and just see if I can nuke things to kingdom come. And roll from there. Music on this, by the way, is incredibly good. Oh, nope. Oh, I, did I not take damage from that? I must have killed them. Uh, let's see. Size and damage? Absolutely. Unfortunately, I think I gotta invest pretty hard in... Uh, in dash cooldown, it is a little on the long side. Well, if we can get that down a fair bit more, I'm sure I'm going to become unstoppable. Uh, let's see. Enemies burst into it. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep investing into the biggest damn explosions I possibly can. I want to be able to dash through an entire horde and watch them explode into bits. Woo! Enemies really do come at you quick. Orbital size. Spawn explosions. I think this is a, one of the other things that I kind of requested that like, hey, um, if you pick something, wait, wait it a little bit towards like seeing more of that. And we're definitely seeing that, you know, the explosions on dash is very much just popping up constantly with some other options. Uh, so tempor temporary damage increase will not applying thrust. No, thank you. I, it's super tempting to keep going for this. Um, we haven't taken any damage yet. And so we don't really need much for shield drops. I'm, I'm going to regret that. I'm sure. But for now, at least. Okay, explosion size. Hopefully explosion size does apply to my... Uh, my dash explosions. Whoop. Ah, took it. Yeah, this is going to get a little harder. Uh, let's see. Auto repeater, wild artillery, or a kinetic drone? Absolutely more artillery. I'm just going to be investing hard into the biggest possible booms I can. Uh, let's see. Explosion cooldown, explosion size. Plus, is that 33%? I think so. Ho oh, ho ho! Look at those dash booms. That's what I'm looking for. So this has meta progression, but the meta progression ain't in it yet. Uh, so I think just what you see is what you mostly get. Projectile speed, explosion, cooldown. I'm not, I guess that reduces the cooldown on my um, artillery, which I probably should invest in. Probably. Oh, we are just getting rid of all of the little dudes. Okay, more explosion size, projectile range, but that doesn't that doesn't really help us too much. Ten percent on the explosion size, size, yeah, haha, <laughs> almost rammed that. I should probably grab a uh, scrap radius next time it goes by. There we go. Whoa, whoa. It is, it's very dodgy. For lack of a better word. Explosion size or damage boost when shield is depleted. Now, we're just going to continuously pump these explosions 
to absolute maximum. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, this is actually following, following proper bullet heaven logic that my hitbox is maybe possibly the green little pixel um, that is my cockpit, which I actually kind of appreciate. It certainly means it's easier to avoid. Uh, let's actually increase our shield drops. My explosion prevalence is pretty damn good. I wonder if I just keep pumping points into explosive dash if I can't just um, <laughs> make the whole damn screen. Woo! Okay, got him. And he had a chest for me. Okay. Explosions, explosions, orbital size. I love the idea of the orbital size. I'm actually... Okay, I'm going to snag that. That sounds way too interesting. Of course, if we can get one. We can't. Standard mortar rounds on the nearest target. Sick. Works for me. Looks like they don't have nearly as much on the explosion side of things, but that's fine. I don't think that's particularly necessary. I also... Big, huge thing. Enemy shots have uh, have a limited range. They, they fade out over time. Uh, let's see. Enemies bursting in a projectile on death. It's tempting, but I just want the biggest damn booms. I want to be riding an explosion. I should really... Uh, if we see any dash cooldown go by, though, I should probably pick that up. Because eventually I'm going to be mobbed so much that it's going to be a problem. Though, my cluster artillery is doing a very good job of just shelling things into oblivion. Scrap gain. Nope. Uh -ha. <laughs> Woo. This is not the kind of bullet heaven that you can just sleep through. Not even close. Okay. Orbital damage, explosion size. Unfortunately, I, I think one of the meta progressions is going to be to give me more options uh, as a player for, like, what, uh, how many, well, more options when leveling up. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Because as much as I enjoy just investing further into explosion size, I certainly would like to have just a couple of extra loops. Uh, it'd be nice to have a couple extra options. Especially, like, gold options or something like that. Okay, weapon up. Auto repeater, wild artillery, close range. Let's go for wild artillery just because... Oh, this is new. Okay, it's ultimate now. Does it get a special feature or does it just fire... Oh my gosh! <laughs> There we go. You might actually hear me pounding on the keyboard here. <laughs> I don't regret it. I This is a different flavor. It's very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, oh, dash cooldown. Thank you. Not the shortest cooldown, but still. Um, like, the upgrade system so far has still been kind of similar to what I'm used to from other bullet heavens. But the absolute frenetic nature of this is wild. I don't think it should be ever slowed down. However, I, an accessibility option, yeesh, uh, an accessibility option that uh, gives it some more. Oh, I want to go for the orbital size. Yeah, we'll get a shield drop at some point, I certainly hope. There we go. Um, but an accessibility option, damn. There's not much I can do about that in that situation. Uh, accessibility option is slowed down a little bit, I think would actually go a very, very long way for a couple of people. And, you know, if there's like a leaderboard system, maybe, you know, nix that if that's gonna actually make, make people mad. But I'll be honest, like... Oh, did I die? Damn. I did. Going all explosion was pretty solid, but, uh, whew, I was firing myself into large crowds and that got a little dicey. Alright, I don't know what I want to build for this time. Maybe we do not a dash run. I, I definitely wanted some orbitals to show up, but they were not that common. There's also, interestingly enough, a, an upgrade that makes it so bosses show up faster. 
which I think is actually really cool. Because bosses are how you get new weapons. So to some degree, you want to kill the bosses, not because, like, there are any kind of limitation. Wow, he dies quick. Auto Smasher, high damage projectile at the nearest target or high damage projectile at random. Try this Smasher, that sounds interesting. Looks like it's just a, a big chunky projectile. We might want to invest into enemies uh, explode on death. Oh, that would have been lovely. But we want to grab this. Times two, times three upgrade chance boost. I don't know how much that is, but getting a couple of those uh, and increasing the prevalence would actually probably go very, very far away. Well, I mean, pays for itself, kind of. Let's just hope we actually get some combat upgrades that we need because of it. First projectiles on dash, projectiles in damage. Sure. I would have liked to go for some more boost, but that actually should be pretty sick. So yeah, we're going to go for a heavy uh, just overall projectile build if we can. So projectile damage, projectile dash. Uh, projectiles on enemy death actually would be pretty lovely. Hey, speaking of projectiles. Other thing I should probably consider doing with dash runs, for example, um, is instead of uh, instead of just dashing through hordes. I want this, but this is going to pay dividends, hopefully. Uh, but last time I was mostly just going into the wild blue yonder and then crashing into a new group of enemies that spawn. There is not much I can do about that. That sucks. Uh, scatter repeater. Let's go for the scatter repeater. I just need more firepower. So where's this boss? Oh, wait, no, we just killed him. Okay, projectile speed, projectile damage, burst projectiles on dash. Uh, let's do that. I don't want to rely too much on, on dashes, because the enemies don't really respect the dash. But maybe I just also need way shorter cooldowns. Uh, grabbing this. I want to go back. But it's going to get dire no matter what. Explosion damage, orbital size. I'm going to keep snagging this until it, like, really pays off. I think maybe what I need to do is actually start hoarding the uh, the dash specifically for when I'm about to take damage. Mash space bar and get out of there. Okay. Oh, there he goes. That was quick. Got a repeater, auto repeater, wild artillery. Uh, let's go for the scatter repeater. I'm surrounded enough that just randomly pooping projectiles into the ether does not seem like the worst idea. We might also want to grab some uh, projectile range. I'm usually kind of disinterested in range, but I think it would actually go a long way here. Far. Uh, but we're going to go for projectile cooldown first and foremost. The faster I can shoot, the better. I'm thinking that Scatter Blaster is not actually that bad. Ooh. But yeah, most, most Bullet Heavens kind of take on a, a bit of a zen vibe. This one is just like absolute chaos and terror. And I kind of love it, actually. It's a, it's a different flavor. Yeah, what I need to do is effectively double back on myself after I do the dash with the projectiles is, like, go backwards. If I can. Or at least shoot for a safe gap. Let's see. 9% damage. Summon enemies explode on death. Chance and damage. Ooh. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going for this, even if it's potentially a mistake. Magic drone. No, let's grab the scatter repeater. 
because that makes it ultimate, whatever that does. Hopefully it just means more. Oh, that's what it does. I'll take it. Okay. We just want to kind of sneak through and grab resources. Luckily, most of our enemies... Oh, I thought that projectile was going to hit me in the face. Most of our enemies are kind of following behind me. Ah. Uh. One problem with projectiles is they obviously no splash damage. I'm a little concerned that that's the only upgrade I'm going to get for this entire run, and I'm I am going to end up under underpowered as a result. Woohoo! It's very possible. I also noticed the bosses I think die a little faster. There we go. Grab burst projectiles. I would have liked to go for more times three, but I think that would become silly. High damage projectile at random, auto smasher, high old, higher. Mm, go for the auto repeater. We don't really need damage, because my main issue is just the little guys really like to hoard, uh, like mob me in a really destructive manner. And that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, so I think I need to stop using dash quite as offensively. Scrap game. Sure. I'll take it. Yeah, if it looks like I'm going to have an enemy just crash into my face, that's when we hit the dash. That seems kind of vaguely right for it. Okay. Uh, burst projectiles and dash. Or more of this. I'm just worried that my only upgrades are going to be that by the end of this, and that's going to become a problem. We'll see. There we go. I do really appreciate that the bosses are much, much faster. It means that, to some degree, they're the thing that's going to be getting shot the most here. And we want our bosses to die. This one's not dying as much. There it goes. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, we didn't take any damage from that, shockingly. Auto Smasher, Scatter Repeater. Projectiles at random. Wait. Don't we already have Scatter Repeaters? Oh, I guess you can get more of it. Sick. Uh, damage boost when shield is depleted. Sure. I think that's only a temporary boost, but I could be wrong. I just... I might as well. Okay, what's our next one? Orbital size, projectile damage. The Scrap Magnet boost range would actually be really good, but projectile damage is going to turn me into a bit of a monster. It definitely feels like I have a lot more weapons than the original demo for this, which is actually super nice. I'd like to see... Uh, I'd like to see some more options. Because uh, currently it's just been projectiles and explosions, which, like, nothing wrong with either of those two. Well... I'm dead. That sucked. Uh, it's fine. But yeah, currently I think we just have artillery and the basic projectile weapon. I'd like to see a little bit more variety than that. I realize that it's a prologue demo, I think. So it's kind of hard to be immediately grumpy about these things. Do explosion damage. I, I think I like Big Boom better, but I think I want to focus a little bit more on... Uh, a little bit less on the dash and a little bit more on the actual weapon side of things. Because, like, these explosion damage upgrades are massive.
I don't remember projectile having quite the same oomph. But I think we want to go for projectile uh, damage and size. Just really push that. Scrap magnet range. But I just, I gotta prioritize killing and, and survival. I'm really curious what would happen if I got my uh, cooldown down really low on my explosives. Like, could I just fire so damn fast that nothing even has the chance to spawn? Because if so, I want that to happen. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I don't want the explosions on dash. Good as it is. I mean, I'll snag it next, I guess. Unless we find something better. Ooh. Some enemies exploding on death is also going to be pretty good. Any kind of cascade effect should be incredibly helpful. But yeah, we'll definitely want to see if I can up my shield gain. Unfortunately, because I have wild artillery, it's kind of hard to specifically hit whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put one into close range, uh, specifically just so we can have something reliable that will reliably shoot bosses. Frankly, we want to kind of have a bit of both, but... Trail of Plasma while dashing. Whoa, that's new. I haven't seen that one go by. That said, shorter cooldown on my explosions, the better. Like, I want to mess with some of these things, but I'll mess with them on another run. Is really that helpful? Eh, honestly, kind of minimally so. Let's just get our vacuum range up. Ooh. Charge right into the midst of dangage. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for the shield drops. We didn't have a whole lot of luck with it previously. Which was a bit unfortunate. Okay. Enemies explode on death? Yeah. I'm not actually sure how useful that's going to be in retrospect. Because they might just be exploding uselessly in the void. Explosion size times three. Oh, hell yeah. Give me the big booms. I want explosions the size of the screen. There we go. Alright. Wild artillery, kinetic drone, or minigun? Yeah, we haven't messed with drones yet. That's, that's another, I guess, weapon type I haven't uh, poked at. Because we got a bunch of drone size, which sounds like it could be obscene. Uh, the main question is whether or not those will show up. Okay, I'm gonna go for the times two, two threes. Last time we had too many of those, but a couple of them might not be the worst. I'd actually really like to see a verbose mode in the options. You know, to tell me how much of a percent bonus increase that is. Yeah, keep going for the explosion size. The enemies exploding on death is nice, but say if I fire off an explosion and a bunch of enemies explode, there's the p very high potential that, like, all of them will have gotten killed by the original explosion. Um, and therefore, them cascade exploding into each other doesn't do anything. I'm not actually sure if that's fully the case, but it's enough of a possibility that, like, I don't know. Ah, damn it. Some of the enemies, especially the shooty ones, like to come out of the bottom sides of the screen. And it's a little rough, because they'll show up and shoot me. And my reflexes might be decent, but they're not good enough. Not for that kind of thing. 
I one bit of feedback I would give I would actually very much like to be able to pick like a heal here you know skip a weapon gain a heal uh, as kind of like a well I'm dying I'm gonna die otherwise so I might as well try and maintain this run for as long as possible Let's see. The one thing I'm noticing is not a whole lot of crowds this time around. I mean, they might spawn in a crowd, but they don't last. There we go. Okay, explosion size, explosion cooldown. It does look like there's diminishing returns on stuff like explosion cooldown. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Come here, you, and explode for me. Explosion damage. Like, what, 28%? Damn it. Thought I'd be fine. It feels like the shield drop rate is pretty much non existent here, which is kind of sad. Because I've definitely invested a couple of points into it, but it is not forthcoming. I almost wonder if they accidentally got disabled for this version. Yeah, so you can just keep putting more into wild artillery. I still would like to see a greater variety of weapons, just to give me some more interesting options. Okay, explosion cooldown or damage? Oh, I cooldown. Because my damage is already pretty decent, the main thing is just the less enemies that even get the chance to sp spawn, the better. Uh, so to some degree, I think it's even going to be more practical for me to invest towards uh, size. Because the biggest issue is uh, we effectively want to be able to kill enemies that are off screen. And that's hard to do. I'll grab it. There we go. Oh, that makes some noise. Let's see. Uh, explosion cooldown. I gotta go for the shield drops. Much as I'd like cooldown and some other things, I also very much would like to live. Because this run actually has some decent legs. Holy smokes, this is a tough boss. I don't want to do the plasma burn. Just because. There we go. Yeah, I know the boss is right on my tail and I could burn him, but I kind of want to save it for if I'm in danger. Uh, explosion size. I will continuously just make it the biggest damn boom I possibly can. Okay, shield drops, shield drops. Damn, this boss really doesn't want to go down. There he goes. Go. I've got a little bit more safe zones than I did on that last run. Ooh. It's a little hard to see enemy projecti projectiles here. And yet, not a single shield has dropped so far, which is making me wonder. Frankly, it might almost be more practical for that upgrade to just literally give you one shield back. Okay. 
that's one of the things that throws me off a little bit on this one. You have perfect maneuverability, but some momentum. Damn it. I didn't see that one coming. Bit of a downside to massive explosions all over the place is I can't see a thing. Uh, it's fine, though. It's fine. It's still the prologue. There's still a ways to go. So here are all the weapons available in the game. Uh, we haven't tried the minigun. Oh. Oh, but some of them aren't in. So... Chain gun. Oh, you know what? We're gonna do we're gonna do one more run. I, I was gonna stop, but then Yes, there's actually quite a lot. So temporary damage increase while close to enemies. That sounds interesting. Boss cooldown. Oh, it's been removed. Orbital to spawn an explosion on hit. Exploding projectile chance. Okay. Maybe I don't want to do uh we have orbital size and damage. Yeah, okay, let's let's give it a shot. We haven't tried that yet. And then there's gonna be permanent upgrades and then other characters that we can play. But currently, we just gotta go with this this dude, who seems to be somewhat of a projectile specialist, at least for now. So, uh, thoughts-wise, honestly, uh, still a ways to go before this game, I think, is gonna be in a really good state. The one immediate issue is, despite the fact that it's, like, very frenetic, which I love, um, hell yeah, scrap magnet boost right off the bat. That's actually super handy. Um... It's very frenetic, which I, I actually really appreciate. It, this is by and far the fastest space bullet heaven that I know of. Um, let's go for this one. Because if I'm going to go for... Orbitals, if it'll let me. Please give me... Damn. Uh, let's grab this one. I don't want to reboot until we get it. Now oh, there's orbital size. I don't think we need any more scrap magnet, to be honest. I think we're pretty good. I'm just gonna start investing hard towards orbital and hopefully it'll give me what I want. I almost kind of wish for the starting weapons you get. Uh... Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, not exactly in a good good space for that damage up. I mean, it's actually pretty good. I just don't know if it's going to be safe. Let's keep going for the scrap magnet. Larger that is, the less I have to worry or backtrack. Okay. And yeah, that damage boost is mostly fine. I just don't do a whole lot of damage. Or I don't have a whole lot of weapons to rely on here. Okay. Unfortunately, because of the whole um, RNG waiting system here, if, we, if this guy doesn't drop an orbital, I, I'm thinking we just uh, restart the run. Okay, there's the kinetic drone. The one problem is standing still means enemies are just going to be shooting at me, which is a bit rough. Orbital size, there it is. Doesn't seem like it's scaling up in size that quickly. But we'll see, especially once I get a couple of them. It's going to be funny to have, uh, have them be the size of the screen. Like, I just don't need Scrap Magnet Boost after a certain point. Like, it's nice, but my range is huge. There we go. Okay, right. I was gonna say, I, I think the first, uh, first boss that you kill on every run should maybe give, like, a wider selection. So if you want to do, like, a... Uh... If you want to do more of like a explosion run, you know, here it's got one artillery, one orbital, and one projectile. And then after that, uh, maybe it determines a little bit more of the pool weight. Or not, I don't know. I think there's a lot of different ways to do it. Oh, this is unfortunate. The boss is actually fast enough that my orbital is going to have trouble hitting them. Damn. 
I tried slowing it down to ram it with it, but it didn't work. All right, there we go. Please give me another kinetic drone. Perfect. Unfortunately, I only have kinetic drones at the moment, so I'm a little stuck with that. Interesting, they actually rotate at completely different speeds. I like that, actually. That's good. Otherwise, they're just going to get weird and synced up. Boop. I could have gone badly. Orbital damage. Freaking hell yeah. That's going to make them spooky. Okay. And orbital size, plus an additional 40%. Oh my god. Get big, son. Become huge. I guess sons? I've got two of them. Now you know what, they're a hive mind. They're a singular entity. I'm a parent to a monster. A monster that just shreds spaceships. I want to read a space opera set in this universe. That'd be amazing. Just, everybody's terrified of Murph. Which is why they're trying to kill him. Murph don't care. Okay. Orbital size? I gotta. The extra multiplier would be nice, but we're we're just trying to make these monstrously large. <laughs> and also, I'd like to get more of them. Because I'm, I'm really curious what the alt version is. Okay. We're keeping him at a good clip. Damn it. It'd be nice if the orbitals were slightly more uh, homing on bosses. Oh, well, I guess we can try the minigun just to see if the minigun is at all good. <sighs> like enemies bursting into projectiles and all that jazz is like, it's nice. It's just not this build. Uh, hopefully, once we get to the meta progression, or once we... Wait, what? I took a hit from that? Really? Alright. Uh, hopefully once we start getting some meta progression... That can hurt. Uh, let's see, do we want to just snag this? Sure. Um, one of the meta progression options hopefully will let us, like, banish things from the pool. Because I'd very much like to get rid of, like, one or two that just really don't jive with what I envision for this run. But, then again, I'm also playing with, like, an extremely limited deck. Uh, there are only two orbital upgrades and one singular orbital in the game at the moment. So it's not like I really should expect, uh, this build to be catered to particularly aggressively. Maybe in the meantime, like, make it, maybe make it so the prologue really identifies, like, oh, you're trying to go for orbitals. Okay, let's facilitate this, because the alternative is, uh, some weird hybridization. Wow, they got shredded. Please give orbital. Damn it. Rude. I guess I'll level up the auto repeater. Just because. I might have to invest a little bit into projectiles, but I don't wanna. How the hell did I not get hit on that? I have no idea. I'm not going to bother picking up the shield drop. Drop rate boosters. That's straight up just not worth it. Oh my god, that was spicy. Oop. How did I live? <laughs> uh, orbital size, orbital damage. Size. My biggest issue isn't that they're, uh, they're not lethal. They're incredibly lethal. The problem is I only have two of them. And they kill anything they touch. It's just getting them to touch my enemies is, like, harder than I want it to be. Whoop. Once again, how do I live? Dash cooled. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Uh... I gotta go for the dash cooldown. The extra multiplier is kind of nice. I, I don't actually know if this is a, a thing that got implemented or not, but one of my recommendations was um, make it so that 
the higher the threat level, the better the stuff that drops. Um, because it's kind of boring to get a four percent drop or four percent like damage or four nine percent damage boost. You know, right at the end of the game, it means nothing. And so, making the drops more impactful later on makes them feel better. Maybe I don't know. I, it's one of those where, oddly enough, I actually feel like Bullet Heaven should never slow down how fast you level. Uh, let's see, orbital damage, orbital damage. Like I feel like these. This is the one genre where you should just almost level up every thirty seconds or something like that. Um, that'd be an interesting thing. I'd almost like to see uh, like a twenty minutes till dawn alternative. Damn it. Like, my weapons are deadly, but I have, what, four? Four completely extraneous ones, only three of which I actually had the option, kind of. There it goes. Drone, 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 drone. Now, what's the evolution get me? I have no idea. Oh, they got some yellow in them. Uh, is it just one? Do I just have a freaking murder sun? Oh. Or is it proccing projectiles? Wait, shield drop? That's unusual. There it is. I don't think I leveled up my shield drop chance at all, so... Lucky me, I guess. I was really hoping that the evolution for the kinetic drone... ...would do something slightly different. Not that I particularly begrudge this one. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. Um, Jesus. I think it's fine. Damn it. Oh, you know what would be a sick upgrade? Like a rare, a rare drop upgrade is apply dash effects to orbitals. So if, if I had the like explode on dash one, it would make it so that my orbitals also explode on dash, or leave a plasma trail or something. I think that would be actually kind of unbelievably cool. Why is this my best run? I, you know what? I know what it is. We've hit the spawn camp uh, cap. Uh, my last couple runs have actually been too powerful, and so by not killing everything, all the enemies are largely just kind of following me as opposed to spawning in, in front of me. That's why I can move fairly safely. It's because there's a crowd behind. So my last super explodey run was actually shooting itself in the foot because we were killing too hard. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me in the slightest, frankly. Or am I like particularly grumpy about it? it makes total sense. It's almost kind of this like weird um, double-edged sword of like, but you are too good and therefore everything is dangerous. Uh, kind of its own internal threat scaling system. Now, I believe later on, once this game is done, it's going to go up to threat 30 or 40 or something to that extent. Um, currently, it, I think it's going to stop momentarily. Or maybe at the end of this one. Or I'm completely wrong and we're just in it for the long run, which is worrying as I am actually quite weak. But it's also kind of fine. It, definitely going to be one of those bullet heavens that I think I'm going to keep more of my eye on rather than uh, play super aggressively. Uh, at least for a little while. Just too many other games coming out and I would much rather put my time into this one. Let's just grab wild artillery. Uh, put my time into this one when it's in a more complete state. Uh, I've got a couple other bullet heavens in this exact same kind of vein and vibe. Wow, that pickup radius, though, is stupid. Wait, I got hit? Dang it. Okay, so I have no idea what the uh, end is going to be. I thought it was uh, threat 20 is when I... when things end, but uh, that's apparently wrong. It must have been expanded up, up to at least 30 for the prologue demo. Holy shit, this music. Uh, let's just keep doing orbital size. Also, would kind of prefer orbital size to affect the bullets it's putting out. Yeah. Shit, this is like the best song. 
Oh, time to end this. There's... There it is. I was wondering. Or... Nope. We're not dead yet. I forgot. Now I'm dead. Damn! Hi, that's a boss. I will never financially recover from this, but at least we saw the boss. <laughs> um... Okay, so not as much feedback this time around. I think this is in a much better state than it was. The one thing I would say is when guns go ultimate, I'd almost prefer like an option between one or two. So like for the kinetic drone, one big one that fires projectiles periodically, maybe explodes periodically. Okay. Homes in on enemies. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Or it splits. You know, every time it uh, kills an enemy, it, it fires off like a bunch of little orbitals that kind of spin in place or something. That actually would probably be incredibly overpowered. Um, I will say, orbitals in general, if you want to really make them work, I think you do need the on-kill effects and push those a little harder. Because if every enemy exploded on death, I bet that murder crowd would have actually exploded faster. Though that might have actually been a problem, because once again, the more enemies you kill, the more likely they're going to um, spawn in front of you. And so... I would almost say the other last bit of feedback would be when moving in a direction, enemies should maybe predominantly spawn not in the direction you're moving. Um, at least not directly in the direction you're moving because I had, I was like going up and down once or twice and like I'd be here, the enemy would be off screen but they fire a projectile and have a split second to dodge that. Uh, then maybe either enemies can only fire within like a certain range of you. Uh, or straight up it just isn't really not as many enemies will spawn in front of me so instead they'll spawn from like here all the way around to here and then there's like a couple that'll spawn in the way uh, but not as much just and this is really a, mostly a problem if you're going up or down side to side doesn't matter as much because widescreen if I was playing on a totally perfect square maybe it'd be fine but I don't know either way uh for those of you watching this, sorry for all the feedback, I just know the developer is going to be watching this, and I would like to see this be the best game it possibly can be. But, for now at least, if you guys like this game in any way, shape, or form, for starters, the demo is available on Steam. You guys can play it yourselves, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, still, it's got a long ways to go, but considering it's still a free prologue, I cannot complain. Uh, plus, like I said, I like the frenetic gameplay. I think it adds a whole extra layer to this that just wasn't... Uh, or just isn't really available in most other bullet heavens yet. Uh, so if you want something a little bit more Twitch reflexy, it's got options. I do hope to see it expand dramatically in terms of width, you know, weird, rare upgrades that, you know, really change how you play. Uh, like, I don't know, maybe after X number of levels of scrap magnetism, you get an evolution that either does like... It does like one of three things, but maybe one of them is actually that the scrap that's magnetized to you does damage to anything it passes through. I think that would be the coolest upgrade ever. I think it would work really well uh, with making stacking multiple upgrades on top of each other feel impactful. And also be kind of interesting for some spicy secret, secret builds of like, hey, what if I just killed enemies with their the corpses of their comrades? So that'd be cool. Either way, with all that said, uh, like I was saying, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons of them to check out. I'm modulating my voice weird and it's throwing me off. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.